Hello, all my H Minute peeps. Uh, it's Taiwan Hubbard, and I'm back with you with another research update video. Uh, and in this video, we'll be going over another study that just came out August 6, 2019. Uh, and it is a case study report study. And so, although um, the information in the study should never be uh, underestimated, uh, it is done on one patient, and this information would need to be replicated in a larger study um, and so, uh, or a larger clinical study. So, uh, with that being said, though, uh, what this report actually did come out with is rather impressive. Uh, and so we'll just go over it. And uh, like I said, I think you guys would be impressed by it. So the actual title of this study is Hydrogen Gas Therapy Induces Shrinkage of Metastatic Gallbladder Cancer, a case report. So in this case study report, uh, they actually investigated a lady who was 72 years old with stage three gallbladder cancer. Uh, and uh, it was developed actually from liver cancer uh, that she had. And uh, I guess they did an array of treatments on her, uh, including chemotherapy for nine months. And then the disease continued to progress. Uh, and so uh, the actual administration method that they chose, uh, this case study report, uh, was hydrogen inhalation. And uh, let's look at what they actually did. I think they did, um, they used a hydrogen uh, oxygen generator. So that produced 67% H2, 33% O2, uh, and generated three liters per minute. And she breathed uh, hydrogen for three to six hours a day at rest with no interruptions. And it says even after obvious, sim even after obvious, uh, obvious symptoms were, were relieved. Um, and so that was the administration method that they chose. It was hydrogen inhalation. Um, pretty much what you will get from this, uh, case study report was that, um, they pretty much put her on best, uh, supportive care. Um, the disease progressed to an extent to where, um, typical treatments were not going to be effective. And, uh, it says right here, uh, in the report, uh, in the reexamination after nine months of treatment, reoccurrence of gallbladder tumor, duodenum, and liver metastasis and lymph node metastasis uh, around the head and pancreas, as well as severe anemia were detected, which indicated that the disease had entered a stage of rapid and life-threatening progression in a short period of time. Best supportive care was the only option at, at this time point, although in general, it is not possible to reverse the, prog uh, the progression of such tumors. And so that's kind of where uh, this study actually started off for her. So she chose to do hydrogen therapy uh, and no other treatments um, at that stage. And so uh, she started doing this. And in the first month, uh, month and a half, uh, she actually had really no progression, um, no uh, significant uh, benefits uh, to hydrogen therapy that was um, noticeable outside of um, improving some of the blood index markers. So for example, things like the total protein count, multiple uh, blood cell counts, as well as um, hemoglobin content. Uh, these started to uh, have continual improvement uh, while the disease continued to progress. And so gradually in around 2.5 months to till, uh, about three months, uh, or 3.5 months, she started having uh, drastic improvements. Uh, as this quote says here, uh, gradually the levels of tumor markers uh, began to decline and multiple uh, multiple hemological indicators continued to improve. Um, the patient underwent gastric tube, tube, gastric, gastric tube removal on December 24th and gradually began eating uh, semi-liquid food. Uh, with significant improvements in spirit, appetite, and sleep. And so um, you'll see if you read through this study that uh, that pretty much the cancer uh, went into the, the wadnum and into causing intestinal obstruction uh, where she was just on IV nutrition. Uh, and so um, as she continued to do hydrogen inhalation, these things started to improve to where she can actually, uh, actually start to be able to eat uh, food again. Uh, and uh, improved her appetite and sleep. Um, and then it said, um, sub subsequent CT examinations also confirm relief of obstruction uh, with significant shrinkage in tumors at multiple sites. 
Um, the reason uh, the reason for the patient's extraordinary recovery, apart from sy symptomatic treatment, is probably because of the persistent hydrogen therapy. This treatment not only mediated rapid improvement in physical condition of the patient, but also significantly reduced tumor marker levels, increased lymph lymphocyte counts, and even induced tumor shrinkage. Um, now, the treatment that they were talking about is that they aided. Uh, she was anemic, and so she was doing um, blood transfusions, uh, I think, twice a week, once to twice a week, that they were doing this for uh, the, the, su the supportive care uh, for her. So they clearly state here that they I believe the extraordinary recovery was uh, largely in part uh, to the hydrogen, the persistent hydrogen therapy she was doing uh, each day. In conclusion, it says that uh, uh, it says here, it says that three months after hydrogen therapy, the metastasis in the, adam in the abdominal cavity uh, gradually reduced in size. Her anemia uh, was corrected. Lymph lymphocytes and tumor markers returned to normal, and the patient was able to resume normal life. Uh, that is pretty extraordinary <laughs> uh, to, to think this lady has stage three gallbladder cancer and um, and she was getting these type of results with breathing um, hydrogen inhalation for three to six hours per day uh, within a time frame of four months. This is when these results happen, uh, especially considering the fact that um, the previous quote in the discussion stated that um, that what they were going to move forward with doing, which is best supportive care uh, and let the disease do its thing. And so. Uh, it's pretty remarkable. Um, the conclusion actually states this right here. It says this is the first report of efficacy uh, and safety study about hydrogen therapy in patients with metastatic gallbladder cancer and a critical general condition who has remained stable for more than four months. Um, this is quite remarkable. Uh, and this is just a research update. Like I said, these results will need to be replicated. Uh, within a within a larger study, but um, the fact of the matter is, is uh, like I said, it's really remarkable. Uh, it shouldn't be uh, um, underestimated or undermined uh, or undermined uh, at all. But um, that is the research update for you guys. Uh, this is another one for cancer, and hydrogen just keeps seeming to progress forward uh, with more extraordinary therapeutic uh, benefits and potential. Uh, and so uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Deuces.